Hello, it's Lorna Wagner, Programme Manager for Careers and Outreach for Maritime UK and here is your weekly update of the programme and its activity. So what did we do last week? Well, our Careers Campaign Partners meeting happened last week and we had presentations made by Serco, the UK Sailing Association and the Maritime Digital Hub, all talking about all the different things that they've been doing to support the programme. Uh, as a result of which I've had other partners in touch with me asking for one-to-one -one meetings so we can plan some activity with them, which is absolutely terrific. Um, had a super meeting with um, Weymouth College and their project team. They're looking at bringing in a maritime curriculum and uh, really inspiring meeting lots of very as ever with maritime lots of partners who are so enthusiastic about this piece of work and that that's something that i'm really going to enjoy being a part of um our first uh careers event for students at a university has has gone live it's for the university of hull um and it's next monday monday the 19th and we are targeting students who are not following a stereotypical maritime pathway. So in other words, we're not going to be talking to the naval architects. We are going to be talking to business and management students, those that are doing HR qualifications, those that are doing finance qualifications, the humanities, law, etc. Um, and talking to them about business services within the, uh, the sector. And I'm being supported by NOR Commit from Seaworthy Consulting and Cathy Woolwork from Versec um, uh, to help me deliver that session. Looking forward to that. Um, we've had it confirmed that the first of 12 articles, editorials, will be printed with FE Week this week. The first one is on free ports. In May, we're going to be looking at the shipbuilding strategy and in June at the Green Revolution. So um, really excited about that. That They have a huge readership. They are the biggest of its kind in the FE world. So hopefully we'll be getting information to teachers, tutors and FE managers um, about the maritime sector and helping them to understand it better. This week, uh, it's obviously the second week of the Easter holiday, so there aren't as many meetings as there might be usually, which is uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I've got the careers professionals working group getting together this week and we'll be just checking over the, what the content and the um, what we've got available for our careers professionals, what they get out of being part of our, our network. Got lots of CPD sessions coming up, actually. We I've, I've organised another general um, maritime awareness session. We're doing one for Job Centre Plus on the 12th of May, which already has over 50 people registered on it. We're then doing a series of industry specific ones. So the first one is the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, which is on the 26th of May. We're doing one on super yacht crewing and careers at sea at the end of June. And then we've got one planned for design based maritime careers in July. <clears throat> I've already got a number of sessions lined up for the autumn term as well. So we're really trying to build uh, the benefits of membership of our, our network there. Uh, we've got the, the Maritime People and Skills Forum meeting is this week and I'm presenting at that about what the programme has been up to. Um, and the f we're, pre we're preparing for our first of the large um, virtual prospect skills um, careers fairs, uh, normally face to face. So I attended a planning meeting last week for that, I had a proper look around the portal. They've got more than 8,000 children registered for that event next uh, next week on the 21st. So I, I'm expecting that to be quite the day. Uh, we've had quite a lot of volunteers of um, from people who are going to help me man the uh, the live chat function. We've already built our stall. I've recorded a theatre talk. We've created an advert to get people to our stall. It's really just being there and answering questions as they come up. Uh, it could be madly busy. It might not be terribly busy. We've absolutely no way of knowing, but it's an exciting new world to move into. Um, next week also, I've been asked to speak at the Team Humber Offshore Wind Conference about skills and careers for young people, and I'm, I'm preparing a presentation for that. So as ever, loads going on, and uh, hope I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.